adding greater numbers using standard algorithm. How can we add numbers efficiently using standard algorithm? The key word here is efficiently. In the past, you may have learned how to add numbers using number lines or partial sums. These are great strategies, but would take a really long time if you're trying to add really, really big numbers. So instead, we're going to learn how to use standard algorithm. You have learned how to estimate sums. Remember that to estimate means to find an about answer, and sums is just the answer to an addition problem. Let's find the sum of 248,569 and 13,251. Well, the first thing we do is estimate to get an about answer. When we estimate, we first round each number to the greatest place value they have in common. The greatest place value I see is in the hundred thousandths place, but this number doesn't have anything there. So, the first place value they both have in common is in the ten thousandths place. That's what we'll round to. 248,569 rounds to 250,000. 13,251 rounds to 10,000. 250,000 plus 10,000 equals 260,000. We know the answer to this problem should be about 260,000. The most efficient way to find the actual answer to this problem is to use standard algorithm. We start by lining both numbers up on top of each other. Notice that the ones are with the ones, tens with the tens, hundreds with the hundreds, and so on. We always start with the ones place. Nine ones and one one equals ten ones. Well, we can't have two digits in one place, so we know that ten ones is the same thing as one ten and zero ones. That means one ten goes in the tens column, and zero ones goes under the ones place. Now let's add the tens column. One ten plus six tens plus five tens equals 12 tens. Again, we can't put two digits in one place, so 12 tens is the same thing as 102 tens. So the 100 will join the hundreds column, while the two tens goes under the tens column. Now let's move to the hundreds. 100 plus 500 plus 200 equals 800. Since there's only one digit this time, the 8 can go under the hundreds column. 8,000 plus 3,000 equals 11,000. We can't have two digits in one place, so that means 11,000 is the same thing as one ten thousand and one thousand. The one ten thousand gets to join the ten thousands column, and the one thousand goes under the one thousands place. Don't forget about your comma. Now let's move on to our ten thousands. One ten thousand plus four ten thousands plus one ten thousand equals six ten thousand. So the six ten thousands can go under the ten thousands column. And finally, all we're left with is the two in the hundred thousands place with nothing to add it to. So that means two plus nothing equals two hundred thousand. So we can write that two in the two hundred thousands place. When we add these numbers together, we get two hundred sixty-one thousand eight hundred twenty. Let's see if our answer is reasonable by comparing it to our estimate. Yes. 260,000 is very close to the answer we got, so we know that this must be the correct answer. In this lesson, you learned how to add numbers efficiently using standard algorithm.